introduction the topic is recording techniques from industrial engineering and management we are going to study about the work study in last lecture we see that one of the recording technique these are the charts and in this uh, we always see the diagrams the various charts are available it is an operation process chart flow process chart then two hundred process chart in this process chart we add the activities and use five symbols operation symbol inspection storage and delay symbol and at the right hand of activity right hand of chart we express the various description and at the left hand the time required to complete this activity or complete this task but here the diagrams various diagrams are used to show the this activity and these are the multiple activity chart this multiple activity chart is separate from operation process chart or sequence chart instead of various recording symbols here we use only two symbols that is empty block and there is a some lines are shown in the box or in the rectangle so empty rectangle and there is a some rectangle lines in the complete rectangle so uh, if there are some activity if the uh, number of small activities or repetitive activities some complex activities then it cannot be indicated or cannot be possible to indicate by various chart so here only use two symbols take the example here there are two activities or two distinguishers in, in between column there is a operator and machines we also in the relationship between what are the workers are doing when machine in a working that is worker what are the total time to idle to the workers when machine when there is in case of automatic machines so it can be description like load job switch on the machine then idle pick up the part and key when operator is working then machine has the idle condition so first activity or this is a table which can be add the activity these are the load the job these are the first activity by operator it required 20 minutes so total time is 20 minutes then for switch on the machines it required 0.08 minutes so this time is added that is 0.28 minutes then another machine or another switch on the machine it requires same point a, point 0.08 minutes so it had total 1.36 time then at this it can be said that the workers at the idle condition that is the machines that is these are the automatic machines when operator in operating condition then machine has the idle condition since it can be indicated by empty rectangle then when the machine in operation it required only 1.5 minutes so it can be adding total column of time so it required total 1.96 minute by combination of worker as well as machine then we move towards diagrams the diagrams also important technique for displaying the activities and this can be activated by flow diagram and string diagram so what are the difference between diagram and charts in charts we use various operation symbols but in diagrams which can be view the flow in charts it cannot be given the total distance moved by operator or total distance moved by material but it can be calculated by diagrams in diagrams these are the number of operations operation number 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these operations are placed for this recording purpose of flow diagram on the paper different activities are noted and it can be indicated by different color code or pins then these activities are connected these activities are connected by arrows this can be shows that what are the direction of activities means from storage it can be moved to the first 
first operation. Then from first operation it can be moved second operation. Then third operation, fourth operation. Here some of the inspection activities, hence the job can be inspected. And it can be shown if the fourth, after fourth it can be moved towards either inspection or either storage. Because during the inspection some of the jobs are are defected. Some defects are occurred in this job. Hence, it can be moved towards sixth operation. And some of jobs, these are the completely accurate jobs without any error, without any problem. So it can be moved towards the storage. So it can be flow diagrams, and it can be indicated by arrow and various pins. Then string diagram. The string diagram, it is another technique of flow diagram. Means instead of operations involved or various activities involved it can be indicated by arrow but here we use the measured length of string and instead of arrows or by directing towards the arrows it can be uh, used the string the first end of string and last end of string they have measured length so these are the various activities activity number one Two, three. These are the first activity, then inspection activity, then operation activity, then operation, then inspection, then storage. So the known length string it can be moved from first operation to storage, working process storage, then third operation, then fourth operation, then fifth and sixth. These are the complete activity. So if there is a 10 meter string it is the known length and after moving of this string towards all the activity from first storage to inspection or final finished product storage then remaining length of string is subtract from the total length it can be used the total length of activity or total movement of this worker or total movement of material from this machine line so here in this video we study about multiple activity chart. It is an advanced of operation process chart. But here, not to use the various activities involved like operations, storage, delay. Only use few symbols. One is the hatching lines inside the rectangle, which can be indicates the activity that is work working or actual uh, actual <laughs> engagement of workers or machines. Or empty rectangle which can be shown there is an idle condition or waiting conditions then these two, two charts instead of using symbols only use the direction in flow process chart it can be indicated by arrow first position of various activities and in string diagram it can be used the known length of string